this lecture we are going to talk about our last configuration for field effect transistor this configuration is called common drain configuration and also called as source forward configuration this is the circuit for source forward configuration now when we are going to replace this dc uh, dc source which is in this case vdd you will see that the drain terminal will be connected to ground and will behave like an common ground configuration now in this configuration the input side is connected with the gate terminal and the output side is connected with the source terminal while drain terminal it has not connected to the input or output side so we are going to see that as a terminal is not connected to the ground it's not connected to input or output that terminal is considered as a common terminal that's why this configuration is called common drain configuration now this is the circuit we, we have to follow three steps we have uh, follows here first one is we have substituted our RAC current model but before that we have followed all these steps which was turning off all the GC sources replacing the capacitor with short circuit and rearranging of circuit we are going to rearrange circuit after our this substitution now if you look at this uh, circuit you can see that uh, this train terminal has been replaced with a ground terminal and now this side is actually output impedance we are going to drag it here we are going to drag this side here when we drag this in such a way our current source will be going to opposite in direction while this terminal this is a ground terminal this is also a ground terminal uh, let me show you with a different color this is a ground terminal and this is ground terminal these two terminals are going to place here this is the circuit of a rearranging and in this circuit you can see that our input side is now clearly on the left side while the output side is on the right side and the drain terminal has been came into the ground has been became a common terminal now this is an important point understand that the vgs is now appeared here uh, since we have moved a drain terminal from this side to this side we have to find input impedance output impedance and voltage gain so if we are going to for input impedance we can clearly say that that our input impedance is just a simple resistance rg this the circuit is not connected from onward of this section if we are going to find output impedance initially we have to substitute v input equal to zero volt when we put the v equal to zero volt the gate terminal is connected to ground positive terminal of the vgs has moved here so the vgs appearing at this terminal is actually voltage appearing at this section and this section so that means this v output is actually equal to v minus vgs is a negative sign so let's apply KCL here. We can see that uh, this is a, a terminal where there are going to four currents. Uh, I output is entering this terminal and GM VGS entering this terminal. And we, since there are two currents entering in this node, two currents are exiting. So let's write the equation for this node. And what we want to find, we want to find the output equal to V output over I output. So if we can find the equation for uh, V and I, we can easily find the equation for output impedance. This is the first equation. Two currents are entering the node. Two currents are exiting the node. So these are the currents here. Uh, replacing the IRD with V output divided by RD and replacing V output divided by RS. Since the voltage appearing on these two branches are the same voltage. Uh, we also you now rearranging the voltage since we want the output impedance. So I output is is on the left side and the whole other term is on the right side uh, now we, you can see that the vgs is already there so vgs can also be replaced with minus v output as we have discussed earlier that the vhs is the same voltage just in the opposite direction so we have replaced v output here now take all these terms common let's uh, let's take v output common out of this circuit and now we have uh, v output common out of this equation on the right side let's move this v output here under the I naught. Now this is our equation. We have to move V output from here to here and also we have to invert because the equation was I output divided by Z output which is actually equal to 1 over Z. So we have to invert this equation. So we when we invert this equation we get this equation in which 1 divided by 1 over RD plus 1 over RS plus 1 over plus GM. From the last slide we have only changed one thing which is this one we have replaced gm with 1 over 1 over gm it's actually equal to the same thing this is the simplified form 
this rd is parallel with this rs which is parallel with 1 over gm now rd and rs are two resistances but gm is a conductance what we when we uh, invert the conductance it become an impedance so the overall equation has unit of ohm as the same unit of any resistance and as we always said that if the rd is 10 times greater than rs we can simply write this equation for output impedance which actually will rd parallel with 1 over gm now to find voltage gain we have replaced the original circuits here and let's see how the voltage gain appears here so if we what we are going to find we are going to find v output divided by v input equal to av this is the same equation as we have always followed so let's starting now writing the equation for output side we can see that the gm vgs is the current which is flowing through this direction which is flowing through this direction into two resistance now this resistance we do not know the current in individual branches but we know the collective current which is going through these two resistance will be gm vgs so by utilizing this equation we have written the equation for output impedance output voltage now applying kvl around this parameter and on the circuit we can write this equation that v input is actually equal to vgs v output is applied here v output is equal to uh, the voltage vgs appearing here and the v output vo voltage appearing here we are going to insert this equation v in input minus v output in the place of vgs in the first equation now this is our equation so we have segregated the equation by v i and v naught since this is the term with v output so we are going to move this v output here like in next step and already taken v output common out this term so if we cross multiply these two terms we will get v output by v input so by uh, cross multiplication we get v output by v input and this term is the gm rd parallel with rs and divided by 1 plus gm rd parallel with rs and as always when we say that that resistance rd is 10 times greater than rs we can replace this equation here with with the absence of rd now if you look at this equation you can clearly see that the denominator will be larger value than the nominator that means the voltage gain will always be less than one this is the very important point this is the same circuit as we have discussed in bjt similarly we have a meter follower configuration there which has only the gain of less than one or we can in most cases we say that it's approximately equal to one similarly here we have a voltage gain which is less than 1 or approximately equal to 1. Let's do an example here. This is a circuit uh, provided to us which is a source forward configuration or common drain configuration. Uh, we are giving three parameters already given other than the resistances. We are giving three other parameters but the first one is IDSS which is 16 milliampere. Second is VP which is the minus 4 volt and the last one is GOS which will be used for determining IRD. Now the, the, the required thing are Q point values so we are provided VGS Q with minus 2.86 volts and IDQ which is 4.56 milliampere by using these two values we can find our GM parameter so we are, what we are going to find we are going to find GM then we are going to find RD when, then we are going to find Z input Z output and AV with and without the effect of RD this is the solution now in this from uh, we have to find GM0 by using IDSS and VP which is actually 8 millisiemens and by using this GM0 we are going to find GM which is actually equal to 2.28 millisiemens as GOS was already given so we have find uh, we can easily find RD which is actually 40 kilo ohm now as clear from already equation then this circuit the inputting bit is actually equal to only equal to RG so we have replaced this with RG to find output impedance we have to initially uh, solve it with the effect of rd and this is our equation and we have found that our input output impedance is 3.62.52 ohm so when we solve it without rd our value is 3.65 which is very near to the earlier value now to find voltage gain again we are going to solve use this formula and by using this effect of rd we have found that our, our voltage gain is actually equal to 0.83 as we have discussed earlier that this in configuration has an amplification factor lower than one
but without rd let's see what happens without rd this case a same equation with no difference here so this is the same equation uh, this is the same uh, value that means even though vrd is given it does not have a major effect on output impedance and voltage gain this configuration is important configuration it's not used for amplification it's used for isolation and it's used for uh, impedance matching we have, will see an example when we move toward cascade configuration we'll see that how this device is helpful in uh, impedance matching and isolation if you have any question please let me know thank you very much for today